In this video, I will show you how to use Trimomatic on the computer cluster using a terminal. On the previous video using FastQC, we saw uh, the quality control as, as I put it through FastQC of this FastQ file of a chipset experiment uh, from, uh, you can see on the upper right corner of the screen, what was done on the plant at Abitopsis Taliana. Uh, of how one of its transcription factors reacted when the plant was grown on far red light conditions. And even though the sequence itself uh, looks pretty good, uh, you may want to improve the quality using Trimomatic to trim uh, some of the portions of the reads, uh, which tends to fall uh, uh, in the quality as the read uh, position increases. We can go to the terminal and let's just print the working directory and let's watch inside of it and we can now make a new directory called just Trimomatic which will uh, contain the output files from Trimomatic uh, we can list it and see that it's now there we can now go to the s batch directory to explore a file that I just created that runs Trimomatic that you can see there in that directory and it is just called Trimomatic.sbatch we can open it through vim and we can go to the top of the file and again on yellow is the are the specifications that I put uh, on the sbatch file and it's run through the shell and the, the job name is Trimomatic and I want to receive all types of emails in my specific email address and you will have to change this to your own email address. I am using OneNote and 16 processors because Trimomatic can multitask or multi use mul multiple processors to accelerate the processing. 10 GB of memory and one hour uh, of that will be enough. And the queue will be the short queue. And again, the output and error uh, files will go to the EO files directory. And we'll have the job name, the variable uh, percentage X, and followed by dot, uh, the job ID for both the output and error files. Now this block of text is just the documentation or the young context that I would like uh, to be saved on the output file which will contain again the job name the job ID the the server in which the job was run and the date and timing which the job started running from what directory it was run from and how many processors and nodes it used and here I am just uh, declaring a variable that contains the the, com the common path that I will be using to run uh, Trimomatic, such as it is more clean the the, uh, the the command itself. And then I load the Trimomatic using just mode load. And oh, and this is a typo here, and this we can press the letter I to go into insert mode and we can just change this from FastQC to Trimomatic just to have a better documentation of the sbatch file and so to run Trimomatic we will have to first summon Java and we do it this way and then we have to put the specific path where Trimomatic lives on the uh, computer cluster we use SE which stands for single, single end reads and we have to put how many processors we want or threads in this case 16 and then the quality that is the scale that is comes from the fastq file which in this case is thread 33 then we put dash trim log and in which uh, we want to save the trim log in this case uh, it is in the directory that we just created trimomatic and we're using the same prefix of the fastq file and we just add the trim log suffix 
then we put the input file. In this case, it is on the fastq directory, and this again has the fastq file of that Arabidapsistaliana experiment. And then it is followed by the output directory, in which uh, it will be saved on the Trimomatic directory. And I am giving it the same prefix of the fastq file, but I'm just adding dot trim to differentiate it uh, from the original file. And finally, I am putting these two lines that contains the the options or specific conditions that I want to use Trimomatic. I I'm putting here the path of uh, of a FASTA file that contains the the adapters that were used for the generation of the libraries for the sequencing and some of these conditions or options that were described on the previous video. And we can go and explore what this FASTA file is now. We can just exit and save that little typo that I had on that comment. And now we can go and open through Vim that FASTA file that contains the adapters. We just press enter. And as you can see, it is pretty a simple file that just contains the sequences, the sequences themselves and the FASTA file just starts with a greater than sign followed by the name of the sequence followed by the um, sequence itself and it has eight different sequences here uh, we can just exit it and we can just run that sbatch file by writing sbatch space and the name of the sbatch file. We can use tab to autocomplete and press enter. And we have the job ID of that job that we just submitted. And we can press qstat-u and our username. In your case, you will put your own username um, and press enter. And you can see that it has the job submitted and it is still on the queue. So no time has elapsed yet because it has not started running. So let's wait um, a couple of minutes for it to finish and we can come back. It's been now a couple of minutes since the job finished running. And let's see what were the output files. We can print the working directory and let's list um, and navigate to the error and output files directory. We list its contents and we can see that there's new two new Trimomatic output files and we can explore them through the command more, uh, autocomplete and the output and here it shows the context of the job that we ask uh, the sbatch file to, to store the information and again we see that the job started at this time and finished at this time. So it took around uh, eight minutes to run. We can now go to the error output file, which uh, it doesn't mean that it has an error, but rather that it just sort of throws additional information there. And we can see that uh, Trimomatic options that were used and what were the sequences that you gave it for the adapters that lived in this specific directory, the FASTA file. And the last line here is the one that I want to show you what contains the important information. It has from the approximately 18 million reads that you gave it, 90% passed the, that were kept by Trimomatic, whereas around 1 million of them, or around 10%, were trimmed to such an extent that they were dropped in their entirety. Um, so th that's good. That's essentially what we wanted Trimomatic to do, to remove bad sequences. And we can now go to the, we can clear the screen first. And if we go up one directory and we list it, and we can go to the new Trimomatic folder 
and see that it now contains two new files. And this is a new FastQ file that it has now been trimmed. And then now it's ready to be used for subsequent uh, analysis or mapping uh, to the adapted adapt system in a genome. And I already went ahead and processed this new FASQ file through FASQC, such as that we can see now what are the differences, what trim makes in their quality. I already transferred the results from FASTQC to my own computer. Uh, so this new terminal does not, it's not connected to the computer cluster, it's my own computer. And we can open the new HTML file using a web browser like Firefox. Uh, we can use the autocomplete and we just press enter. And uh, here, here is the two tabs that contain the pre-trim and post-trim. On the upper right corner, we can see that this is the trim version, and the other one is the original version. And we can perhaps you can you see the first picture or the figure. Before, when it is not trim, you can see the decreasing quality as the position of the ridge increases. But once they were trim, you can see that the quality improved considerably. Now it's pretty good throughout the entire read. And this is a good thing because now this will allow the uh, mapping algorithms to match better this, this reads to the reference genome. So this is how you use Dreamomatic on the terminal.